Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mike from Mithlin Miniatures. Aragon from Helm's Deep is finally complete. What I've done for the remainder of the bit, and obviously you can tell from the other video that I worked on those uh, tunics, scabbard, the pants, the chain mail, and also uh, the sword and other bits of metals and things that I did. And I think it was the red undershirt too, but I'm unsure, so I'll tell you again. Uh, the red undershirt I did was simply by doing a bit of uh, chaotic red, followed by some chaotic red and then dragon red as a layer over the top and then washed that down with a bit of red tone and then did that same layer again <coughs> and then adding in some pure red to uh, do the highlight as you can see there now in this main part we focus more on the belts and the boots and of course the base as well and also the braces is what I focused on too. So we started off um, with the belts, just doing a bit mix of a bit of a dirt spatter and some matte black um, to get the right contrast of the belt. Followed by um, some strong tone, I think it was, I believe. And then after that, we went over the same layer again and then followed it up with a fur round highlight. So you can get the bag, little, um, like the little bags and things that he's got <coughs> on the uh, on his belt as well we also did that on the handle of the dagger as well so we did the same brown washed it and then followed it up with a fur brown highlight on top as well and um, in regards to the boots it was mainly um, dirt spatter and matte black 50% each and then I washed that with a strong tone uh, wash and then followed it up with a dirt spatter highlight on some of the areas in the boots as you can see and then got the fur brown out again and then just did the final uh, edge highlight for the bits of like lace and all the edges as well and then further up we move over to the braces so I went over that I think I just used the same um, mix that I used before so it was black and dirt spatter so got it quite dark to be honest um, to do the braces and then once that was dried um, I went over that with some uh, lighter tone of the dirt spatter mainly dirt spatter I used I think can't remember and then uh, after that did some uh, strong tone wash just to follow up into the recesses and then went over again with the um, dirt spatter again just to make sure that we were focusing on the areas that weren't affected by the by the wash and left the wash in the recesses itself and then went over the edges with some fur brown and then as you can see in the center of the braces we've got a bit of uh, gun metal washed down with some uh, dark tone and then went over with a slight tint of um, uh, shining silver and then for the base we did a uh, oak brown rim put about two or three layers on that so it looks nice and even and then glued put some PVA glue down on the base put the little tuft there and then some um, dirt so it represents the uh, the battle for Helm's Deep I was trying to find a rock but I couldn't find anything bigger than that and here we are this is part three of the uh, Aragon at Helm's Deep process from the Heroes of the Helm's Deep box set. I'm still due to finish that box set as well. And on top of that, we've got the Heroes of the West, as I've mentioned. Dak at Weathertop. Uh, and then Warriors of the Last Alliance, the Elves 2. And um, we've also got a, a Ambush at Amon Hen. And then there's also the Orc Commander from Helm's Deep, which should be an easy one because it's the same process that I used for the Uruk Scouts. And then we've got some of um, some bobs from the Battlehost box set of Minas Tirith. Well, it's not the video that I envisioned. I thought I'd try something else a bit different. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'll just go back to the original way, the way that I did it before. And um, yeah, here we are. That's how we're going at Helm's Deep. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you liked the video. And I hope this gets you to that one step closer of having your 
own Aragorn at Helm's Deep model or finish too. Uh, with that being said, take care, see ya, and of course as always, the Mithrin miniatures of our time.